If you have ever felt like your project management system is either too complicated or not flexible enough, this video is for you. Recently, I revamped my projects database in Notion to one, help me make sure I was focusing on the projects I wanted to be focusing on, and two, make sure that I wasn't over committing myself with projects. And today I am showing you the behind the scenes of how all of it works. Now, for some context, a while back, I made a video all about Notion sprints, which is an intrinsic feature in Notion that helps you manage your tasks. Notion sprints are a very, we'll say hidden feature in Notion and not one that I see talked about very often. First have to have a task database. I tried to use them to help me manage my projects and focus on one thing at a time, but spoiler alert, it did not work out the way that I hoped. It was way too rigid and did not give me the flexibility I needed when planning projects. However, there were a few features of sprints that I really loved and wanted to include in my current setup, which you're going to see in just a second. So if you're curious at all about how my little experiment went with Notion sprints, be sure to check out that video for the full breakdown. But for now, let's dive into my new setup. Okay, so here we are inside of my projects page. And first off, the newest thing that I've added here is the timeline view. And I actually want to come back to that. So I have a couple different views of my projects. One is the current and up next. So I can see everything that I am working on and going to be working on. I also have someday projects, which are where all of my projects that I want to get to at some point live my finished projects so I can see all of the old ones that I have done and then a list view of all of my projects here. Back to the timeline view, I really loved this about Notion Sprints and so I wanted to kind of replicate that here with my projects because this actually helps me make sure that I am not scheduling out too many projects at one time. So I am now actually adding real dates to my projects to make sure that they are kind of on a timeline, making sure that I'm not doing too many at once. So this view is actually where I do all of my planning for the projects in terms of when I'm going to be working on them. As you can see, they are sorted so that the ones that I'm currently working on are at the very top. This one is actually done except for like one little tiny thing that I've been waiting for to do. So it's kind of just sitting there right now, but it's almost finished. And so the next one that I'm going to be working on is updating the define your goals challenge. So having these sorted with the current focus up at the top followed with the next up allows me to easily see what is in the pipeline. So from here, all I have to do to schedule these out is to drag it onto the timeline and choose when I'm going to be working on it. And it's also kind of nice on the timeline view that you can see the weekends grayed out here. So I do know that this is a Sunday. And so if I start this right here, I know it's going to be a Monday and it is going to be something that I am working on this week, probably through next week. So all I'm going to do is drag that through the next week as well. So if you remember back to my Notion Sprint experiment, this is not all that much different in terms of when I was scheduling these out. But what is nice about this is I can have multiple projects going at once. So for example, this updating my books and migrating to a different bank, that is going to be kind of going on for a couple months here. And I am personally kind of working on this, but my bookkeeper is also working on this as well. So I can have multiple projects going on if I'm not the only one working on them, which is something you couldn't do with the sprints before. So again, I love this view to just go ahead and plan out all of my projects here. So I can plan as far as I want to, but I typically just plan a couple projects ahead to make sure that I have room to be flexible if I need. Things are a lot different for me now with the newborn at home and so it is a little bit crazy around here. So now I actually want to take you inside of my projects and there are a few things that I have added in here that are different from before but I will just go through everything so we're all on the same page. I do have the status and the dates pinned up here at the top so I can always see when I'm supposed to be working on them and what status it is in. And then I added in a button to finish the project right here. And so this is something that I really liked with sprints is that there was a button to complete your sprint and move on to the next one. And it just made me feel really cool to press that button. So I added my own button to finish my project. A few other properties that I have inside of my projects database is the progress bar here that looks at all the tasks I have for this project 
and it calculates the percentage of how many I have completed. So I kind of know where I am in the process of the project itself. I also have a relation to my goals database in case any of my projects are in fact related to goals, I can connect them there. And what's nice about that is with this little button that I have set down here to add in an action item, if I have a goal connected here, this button also connects my tasks to both the project and the goal that is related to. So I can kind of update my progress on my goal at the same time as the progress on my project because I have it all connected, which is super nice. Now, speaking of tasks, you might notice that I have my action items down here in the page itself. And then I also have a view of my unfinished tasks here and my finished tasks as well. And you might be wondering why I have both. And the answer to that is actually a, another video that I made about the tabbed database layouts. The reason why I do it this way is for this button exactly. It is a really important button for me because it does connect my goals to my tasks and my projects to my tasks at the same time. But if I had just used this view of the tasks here, that wouldn't be happening. So I do really like to have this button here just for that extra automation. And for me, it is easier to see when I click the button, literally to watch it like go into the database and then fill in information about it. So that is why I have both showing here. If you are curious about setting up the tabbed database layouts and a little bit more information about why I do what I do here with the button, do be sure to check out that tabbed layouts video. Inside of each of my projects, I do also like like to add a little overview just to remind myself of what I am doing with my project. There are actually a few things that I want to add with some of Notion's new features and so I'm going to be updating that. And then I also want to go ahead and revamp the videos because they are two years old. It is time for new challenge videos. And so we're gonna do it live this year. If you want to join me for the Define Your Goals Challenge, I will link it for you down below. It is completely free. You can get the goal planner for free. So be sure to sign up for that. Then, as I mentioned before, I do have my action items here in the page so I can easily add those in and go ahead and categorize them, plan them all out do everything that I need to for those. And then below that I have links to any resources and any notes that I want to add. One note that I mentioned to myself was that, hey, the welcome video that I did for the Define Your Goals Challenge is actually on YouTube and I want it to be in Tella going forward. I absolutely love Tella. If you have never heard of it, it's like Loom on steroids, but it is so good. I have a video all about it, so be sure to check that out. So those are just things I want to keep in mind as I'm working through this project. So the other thing that I really enjoyed about Notion Sprints is that they had a view to specifically see your tasks for the project you are currently working on. Now, this is a little bit funky because I would love to be able to do that, but the way I have all of this set up with my tasks being related to my projects, I can't necessarily filter my tasks based on the current project because my tasks database can't go in and see the status of the project that I'm currently working on. Now I could do that with some rollups or some formulas, but that felt a little bit too complicated for me. And I found an actually cooler way using the new feed view that Notion has. So on my daily planning page under my today's agenda, this is where I have all of my to do's, but I also have a new view of my current projects and what I have have showing is the feed view of my projects database filtered so that it was showing the current focused projects. And so what's actually kind of cool about this is I can see inside of the page of the project and I can actually do things that I need to do right from here. You can't completely type straight into it, but it's really interesting because I can access these buttons. So if I need to add an action item really fast, I can actually do that from right here. I can just click this and it adds in a new task for me. I can open it up and then go ahead and change what I need to about this task. But it is really cool that I can just see my project right from this view and kind of eliminates the need for me to have a roll up that shows me what the project status is in my task database. 
that was just a little bit too much. And this feed view makes it really easy to see my projects and work on my projects from my daily planning page. If you currently have any of my templates, be sure to keep an eye out for an update with this new system in the new year. I will definitely be sharing it with y'all. It has been so much more helpful for me to make sure I am staying on top of my projects and pacing myself too. If you like this setup, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And the next time I see you, we're going to be diving into the Define Your Goals Challenge to help you get set up with goal planning for the new year. Be sure to join the waitlist below to get the updated goal planner for free and get the challenge information right to your inbox. Until then, if you are curious at all about the Notion Sprints feature, be sure to go check out my full review of it here. I will see you in the next one.